Sir, a new dasha is coming. A new dasha has already come. A new dasha went bad. <laughs> but still nothing happened in life. Well, today we will discuss five dashas which can transform you completely. Now, when I say transformation, it doesn't mean it will, it will make you a millionaire or it will get you married or it will give you children or it will give you some big status. Okay, it could but not necessarily. But these dashas transform you as a person. So it is very important to note these dashas because if you forget to understand what the dashas are telling you, then every dasha will keep passing by, every mahadasha will come, you know, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70 years and that's it. Life will be over by then. Okay, So therefore, it is very important that we understand what every dasha brings in, not just mahadasha, but also antar dashas. Okay, so therefore... <clears throat> Today we have five very, very critical dashas, all right? And now, before I begin, if you are not running dashas of these houses or planets, then don't get disheartened, all right? But you will get the antar dashas anyway, okay? All right, so first dasha, which transforms you completely, is the dasha of your lagna, which means a planet sitting in your lagna or planets sitting in your lagna, or your Lagna Lord's Mahadasha. Okay, so could be Antar Dasha also, as I said. It's applicable for both MD, AD, and PD. Pratyantar. <laughs> MD, AD, PD. All right, it's applicable everywhere, but primarily MD and AD. So therefore, what, what does the Lagnesh do? What does the Dasha of a planet or in Lagna, what it does? So it gives you an area to focus in life. Okay, so for example, Say your Lagnesh is in the ninth house. So then it tells you that your inherent focus in life, because see your Lagnesh is in the ninth house for, for the entirety of your life, right? That won't change. Dashas will change. But now what is happening is because Lagnesh is a very important planet. So the Lagnesh in the ninth house is activating that certain uh, central area of your life because the sun, moon, Lagna Lord are the most important plants in the chart. Now, even if the Lagna Lord's Dasha does not come in your life, Mahadasha does not come, but you may have planets sitting in the Lagna. Okay, so those planets Dasha will maybe come or even the Lagnesh will have uh, Antar Dashas. Okay? So therefore, if you have the Dasha of a planet in Lagna or the Lagnesh, then you need to understand that you are now getting a chance to do what you were born to do. So therefore, you need to take it very seriously. The dasha of a planet in Lagna or the Lagnesh has to be taken with utmost dignity, respect and sincerity. Otherwise, what happens is you lose yourself because Lagnesh in a particular house or planet in Lagna or even if it's, you know, the ninth lord is in Lagna or the Lagnesh is in the ninth. So there is something to do with higher education, you know, knowledge, spirituality, gurus inherently irrespective of dashas it is there but now when the dasha is coming you are getting a chance to do that and experience that so it's very important that you do it so if you have the dasha of the first house then understand that you are now getting a chance to rediscover yourself maybe you may get the mahadasha when you are you know 58 59 63 45 does not matter it is just a number okay so please Please understand that whatever that planet is speaking, such circumstances will manifest in your life. And that is what you should not or you should never avoid. You should never run away from it because the more you run away from it, it's like saying you are running away from yourself. Okay, that's not very good. So therefore try to implement it and do things seriously when the dasha of the first house is associated. Very, very, very important. <clears throat> Now, the second dasha which completely changes you is the dasha of the 10th house. Again, planet sitting in the 10th or the 10th lord's dasha. Mahadasha, Antar dasha, Pratyantar. Why does it change you completely? Because the planet or the 10th house lord, dasha, when gets activated, tells you what is your purpose in life. What is that you should do or you want to do in a big scale? Very important dasha. In fact, sometimes this dasha is 
equal or more important than the dasha of the planet in the first house or the lagnesh because the lagnesh may just tell you you know what you want to do in life or you know what you feel like doing but the planet in the 10th house or the 10th lord will certainly tell you this is something which you will have to do the 10th house will show karmas which you cannot escape so it is something which you have to you you have to do it eventually one day if not today then tomorrow or some other day and if you don't do that then what happens is you will see that you are lacking enthusiasm in life so therefore if any time it happens that you are lacking enthusiasm in life go and look at the at the 10th house you know yesterday you might have seen the video that was uploaded you know on the 10th house so if you want more knowledge about the 10th house apart from you know all these standard things like name fame power position please watch that video i will not speak much about it in this video because i have already spoken on it yesterday all right so you will see it a day before please go and check that very very very, very important in my opinion this is the most important dasha that you can get so if your mars is in 10th or you know venus in 10th sun in 10th whatever or the 10th lord depending on your ascendant okay very 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 important karmas which you need to face which you cannot run away from and that transforms you as an individual because that teaches you to take responsibility okay that is very 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 important because you cannot grow without taking any responsibility now <laughs> <clears throat> we have the 10th house we have the first house very 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 important the third dasha which completely transforms you is the dasha of your atma karaka what is the atma karaka atma karaka is that which binds the soul now what does it mean binds the soul it's not binding in a derogatory sense but it shows the things that are closest to your soul which means things that you as a person as a living entity identify very quickly with so for example if you, you will see people who have venus as atmakara you know for them they very quickly identify with relationships or you know beauty love romance creativity and all this it's very easy for them to pick up things okay so for example if a person has venus as atmakara for them relationships can either make them or completely destroy them one of the two will happen so because of this what happens is you may sometimes feel that you are getting overwhelmed so when the atma karaka's dasha gets active atma karaka is the planet with the highest degree for for newcomers okay so go to astrosage.com and if you you will see the degree of the planets and whichever planet has the highest degree hours minutes seconds that will be your <clears throat> uh that that will be your atma kara okay so therefore uh please understand that the atma karaka is very crucial because the atma karaka actually tells you things which you have identified very closely in your previous lifetimes with so for example as i said if venus then why do you identify now because you have been identifying with it before so therefore if in your chart the atma karaka is linked with the first house or the fifth house or the ninth house or the 10th house then it's a then it's very crucial and very critical for you to understand that maybe you will identify with these things even more strongly because the trines also show your identification in this life the trines can show forced identification which means if you have venus in fifth or first or ninth you might have to identify with love romance creativity beauty fashion and all this even if you don't want to but atma karaka means you are doing it with your atma which means you are doing it out of free will there is no there is no uh, there's no restriction there is no force there okay as in hindi you say no koi bandish nahi hai yeah, to aap khud se kar rahe swaichcha se you are doing okay so it's very important because the atma karaka can reveal things which normally the chart cannot reveal so for example as i said if venus is atma karaka you will identify with all these things now this this can mean that in your in your life if you are lacking happiness and fulfillment 
maybe you need to try out those things as a hobby. Okay, so for example, if Venus is Atmaka, maybe you need to learn some painting. Maybe you need to learn some creative work, okay? So then what happens is you will understand that yes, doing these things make me happy, okay? Atma Karka is very similar to the fifth house. The fifth house, if you see originally, is the sign of the sun. And the sun also is the original Atma Karka, okay? Nasargik Atma Karka. So, <clears throat> if you feel that life has become very dull and morose, then look at look into your Atma Karka. And as I said, if the Atma Karka is associated with the trines, you must, okay? So, for example, if Jupiter is your Atma Karka, then please do some reading of scriptures, okay? It will it will take you miles ahead. All right. So therefore, the Atma Karka is very important. Now, the fourth dasha that completely transforms you is the dasha of the ninth lord, or the or any planet sitting in the ninth house. The ninth house is probably the most important of all houses. Okay. Of course, there are four houses which are the most important: the first house, fifth house, ninth house, tenth house, and also the eleventh. So these five houses are the most important of all the houses uh, but <clears throat> you have to understand that the ninth house is the highest among all this in a spiritual sense and if you take all these five houses the eleventh house is the most superior materially okay but the ninth house is the most uh, superior because it connects you to something which is completely out and beyond of all the uh, 12 houses or the other 11 houses, which is God. Okay, So God is beyond your astrology, destiny, karma and all this. Okay, So therefore, the ninth house, if activated through lordship or placement of planets, can give you a spiritual uh, community sometimes. And that can give you a different purpose in life. So, and in your chart, if the ninth and 10th are linked, then you have Dharma, Karma, Dipati Yoga, as you know. The ninth Lord in 10th and 10th Lord in 9th or 9th Lord conjunct, 10th Lord, 9th Lord aspecting the 10th Lord. Okay, so if these placements are there, then <clears throat> you have Dharma, Karma, Dipati Yoga, which is the most powerful of all yogas as per Parashar Muni. But nonetheless, even if you don't have that, you have a plant in the ninth or the ninth Lord's Dasha. So many people tell me that they found their guru during this period. So the ninth house is the only house which can take you beyond your horoscope. There is no other chart in uh, no other house in the entire chart which can do that. No other house has any power to take you beyond your karmas, beyond yourself. Also, there's only one house, which is that house, the ninth house. So therefore, in a sense, the dasha of the planet or the ninth lord. Uh, planet in the ninth or the ninth lord is even a hundred thousand million times more important than the dasha of the planets in the first or the lagna lord or you know the fifth or the atma karaka you know, or even the tenth because this house can award you things which no other house can award so this house will connect you to the divine and that's like the divine like as the vedanta sutra says raso vaisaha the absolute truth god is an ocean of pleasure it's like you know unlimited bliss is there so it is like a never-ending energy which is there okay so therefore that can put you on a different plane itself you know it's like no other house can compare to the ninth house there is no other house at least not in astrology <laughs> and then the last house which is very 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 important which is Unfortunately, the 12th of the ninth house, which is the 8th house. So a planet related to the 8th house, so a planet in the 8th or lording the 8th is very important because that is the house, the 8th the house forces you to introspect about your weaknesses. See, there are so many houses. There are 12 houses in astrology. No house forces you See, why does it forces you to look for your weaknesses? Because it's the house of insult and defamation. So when do you get insulted? When you behave in a foolish way, right? And when I'm talking of insult, I'm not talking of, you know, fake insults or fake defamation. I'm talking of genuine blunders that you do. 
because it's the house of blunders <laughs> all right and why do you do blunders because you you have imperfect senses you are not you are not in awareness of who you are you do things with, you, you say things without thinking you do things without saying so there's no integrity accountability so a planet in the eighth house in dasha forces you to take responsibility forces you without without any doubt okay so therefore if you have the eighth house which is getting activated as i always say eighth house is the graveyard eighth house is mashan where everything ends <laughs> Because second from the eighth is the ninth house, which is the house of light and God. When, when do people go to God? Because see, the gain from the eighth house, which is the second, to so to come out from the eighth house, you need God, you need spirituality, you need the scriptures, you need your guru. You cannot come out of the eighth house without the help of your guru and the scriptures and the rishis and God Himself. You cannot. You you just try it. You do what not you. If your 8th house is active, you need to do something spiritual immediately from now, not tomorrow morning. You need to do something. Otherwise, destruction is inevitable. Not material destruction necessarily, but this destruction of your life and your moral values because it's the house of sin also. All right. So breaking of regulatory principles, you know, like meat eating, illicit sex, uh, gambling, then intoxication, all these come under the eighth house. And that's why it's the house of punishment. You name it. All right. So therefore, eighth house gives you two choices. Either you change yourself or you go down. So when the eighth house is active, you cannot stay here. So suppose you are running Dasha of any house, you know, let's say, you know, third lord in the twelfth, okay. So you are traveling, you are doing this here, there, you know, it's fine. And then the 8th house is active. So you are here. So you can't be here when the 8th house is active. You will either go down or you will go up. Okay. If you go down, it's a never ending process. And if you go up, then you will elevate yourself. So you will come out of the vikaras that you have. So therefore, a planet in the 8th house and for 99.9% .9 of the people, when the 8th house is active, they give into addictions, you know, uh, alcohol, sexuality and all this and they go down but there are very few people whose 8th house when activated they can go up by doing spiritual practices and that person is called a Jitendriya one who has one over his or her senses alright, otherwise you are <laughs> you are uh, what is that uh, Godas <laughs> Godas is go means the senses okay so, if your 8th house is active, you will either become a Godas, which means you will give in to your lower animalistic nature, or you will become a Goswami, okay, which means you will conquer your lower nature and you will go beyond your weaknesses and shortcomings, alright? So, therefore, do not miss the 8th house and the ninth house. <laughs> alright, so Lagna, 1st house, very important. Atma Karaka, very important. 10th house, very important. 9th house and 8th house. And among them, all, which is the most important, the 9th house without any doubt. And there is no comparison with any other house. All right. Thank you so much for your patience. If you're new, then don't forget to subscribe to the channel for such daily content. And if you enjoyed this video, or if you're running any Dasha <laughs> of these five uh, houses or planets, then please write it down in the comments. And please share your experience, all right? God is there with you all the time. Just look to him and you'll find him for consultations from me. <laughs> you can go to my website down in the description section. Thank you so much. Jai Shri Ram.